let's uh, let's go ahead and move into the NFL. We got several games that we want to discuss here, so let's go ahead and talk about what's happening here. And we'll start with that Thursday night football game. We've already talked a little bit about it. Packers at 49ers. 49ers a six and a half point dog here. Um, you know, it, it, like it, with all the COVID stuff and whatever, like it's not off the board at all these other spots, all these offshore books. So no, yeah, it's still it's still going. And with it being the Thursday night game and them not able to move another game in that spot, man, I think they're going to play it because the NFL is not going to get rid of that revenue. The only way they won't play it is if they are having trouble doing the contact tracing. Because I mean, we are twenty four hours out. Uh, Jake said, Dane, Gary got a horse. Yeah, it's a great Dane. So, she's a sweetheart. Um, yeah, I, you know. I, I almost this said is, something really bad and mean. <laughs> Don't be mean, man. What, what are we doing? It, it, was, it, was about to, it was about the dog. It was about the dog. But uh, you can't be mean about the dog, man. Well, look, listen, I love Sissy, but. But Sissy, from, well, oh, Suki. Suki's the. Suki. Yeah. Suki. Suki's yeah. the big but, one. Sissy's but, the little one. She's sweet dog for now. Yeah, you got that right. You got she that. She, she, she's old. She she's not long for this world. No, she's been around. She's been around way too long. Way too long. So, uh, she, I bet she's just tired of this election. That's probably what's going on. Uh, so Damien said the Bears game might not happen either. We have two players with COVID. Uh, let's see. I uh, think two this, two players. I know we need a lot more between now and Sunday, which yeah. we could get a lot more between now and Sunday. Mike C said, I think the state steps in and cancels the game. Talking about Thursday night football. Uh, State's not going. I don't think so. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. The state is not going to step in. None of these states are going to step in and tell the NFL what to do. Let's see. Birdie said, I lean the Packers here, to be honest. Rodgers and the Pack have just been so good off a loss, 7-0 straight up and against the spread. Hard to fade that, but probably no play. And see, that's the thing. At, like, the 49ers, like, I, I think Kyle Shanahan showed last year that he's kind of got their number, and he's shown so far this year, it doesn't matter who's playing quarterback. It doesn't matter who's lining up on the defensive line. Like, they got dudes and they got a scheme that works, and it the, worked against the, the Packers. The issue is, is, is the best way to keep Aaron Rodgers uh, contained is keep his ass on the on the sidelines. I don't know who's going to be running the football for him, but I bet they're going to run all over the field because Kyle Shanahan's offense runs the, the ball, yeah. and the Packers can't stop the run, okay? So I think they can keep it close, but it's less than a touchdown, and that scares me because all I need is Rodgers to win the game by one touchdown, and it's ball game. That's that's the issue we've got. If you were so, if I was forced to make a pick, I would take 49ers. Would you? Would you lean back? <laughs> Man, I really don't. I didn't want to make a statement on it. I no, I probably would take. I probably would take the 49ers. That's, I, I had. A feeling I, I think would. there's a world in which Kyle has his has his number. Kyle knows how to beat this team. Yeah, and yes, they got a mass unit out there, but damn, I mean. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for the mass unit, the the 49ers would be favorites here. Yes. Yes, I, I mean, agree. this is this is a big spread movement based on optics. Yeah. That's a, that's a, entirely the way that I think it's leaning. And yeah, I would I would go 49ers here. So, uh that let's move scares me. Let's move into the Sunday games and these are the noon slate games. Uh the Seahawks at the Bills. Bills are a two and a half point underdog at home after a Big time win over the Patriots. I mean that that was the game that they kind of had potential circles. to be the best game of the series of the season of like the noon games right yes. here of the week. How's that of the of the? Well, I don't know about other. Well, week. how about this? The time slot. Yes, of the noon games. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, Jeremy said uh, not on y'all's list, but Texans minus seven over Jags. Quick take: Jag, uh, Jags starting Bobby Boucher. I think at quarterback. <laughs> Isn't it Mike Glennon? Is Glennon it's, starting? It's, yes, it's Mike Glennon. Yeah, he's Jesus, at, uh, H. Uh, Christ. Texans playing on house money against an apparent dumpster fire. Uh, I'm telling it's, you this. I'm staying away from it. Yeah, it's more than a touchdown. Now that Mike Glennon got announced, it went to seven and a half last I saw. I'm not I'm not giving more than a touchdown to Houston. Nope. Nope. No chance. No chance. All right, so back to Seahawks and Bills. Uh, Seahawks, of course, like, had a week off. Uh, trying to figure out exactly. Oh, Jake Luton. Luton, whatever. It's not Are Glenn. Are you sure? That's what Jeremy Jones said. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. And Birdie, thought, Birdie said almost, not Glenn. Almost positive it was supposed to be Glennon. That's uh that's uh the kid from Oregon State. What well, yeah, I know that I, know I, who that he I is. said that would be perfect for uh the Patriots. Uh, yeah. And he looks exactly like every Patriot quarterback I've ever seen in my life. Yep. Um uh yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't know that he, you know As you would listen. say, there is a world in which he is the best quarterback on the roster. We just don't know it. Yeah, right. we have no idea. You're one injury away from being a really good football team. No, 
you you got that right. Uh, your last crap on Periscope said, "What's your guys play for tonight on all the college games?" Uh, not touching them. I'm not playing it because I we no, have no idea. Tonight. So I, we're we're gonna watch and we're gonna we're enjoy gonna watch it. and enjoy and try to learn something about these teams. But uh, but I can't I can't touch them. You got that right. I'm taking the Bills here. Uh, I know that it's not the the smart play. I understand that the Seahawks had a week off, and I know that the Seahawks are really really good when they go over to the East Coast and play in these early time slots. But I there's something about this Bills team. I can't quit them. I don't know why. I think that Stephon Diggs is going to have a monster, monster game here against that defense. Um, and I, I think that the Seahawks showed that they're kind of vulnerable against the Cardinals a couple weeks ago. I'm going to take the Bills here to get this win at home. Yeah, that's probably the right play. I'm going to take the Suckers play and take the Seahawks here. At, I don't love it. Is it Not a, a Suckers play? Pick of mine. I just don't like betting against Russell Wilson. It's just tough. Yeah, I – yeah. I, I can I can believe that. I can believe that. All right, let's move into Bears at the Titans. Titans a five and a half point home favorite here. Uh you know, and and yes, they were talking about uh I think it was Damien said that they got two guys that have tested positive and whatnot. It's it's yeah. gonna take more than that. Uh to get it's the gonna game take more canceled. than that to cancel the game, but that this is this is gonna be a good game too, I think, because both these teams are reeling. Both these teams are what, two uh oh and two in the last two games? Yeah. 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 So so I I uh you know, I think both these teams got something to prove to say, hey, everyone in the world thought they were legit, and now they got to prove who's legit and who's not. Um, I kind of like the Titans on a bounce back. I but. was thinking the same thing, but I, so I wonder if maybe the the Titans not being able to actually get to the quarterback helps them in this spot. In this spot, like, yeah. Keep him in the pocket, shut down the run, keep him in the pocket and let him throw the football. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I was going with that. Like I I think it kind of helps. I I think we're seeing how. So I I never tried to blame Nagy too much because I thought the quarterback play was so bad with Trubisky for so long. And, and, I think Trubisky, and Trubisky is the one they need to be playing right now. I don't know that I'm going to say that. I, I really I really think Nagy's bad. Like He's real bad. They yeah. just have enough talent on defense and enough skill players around that offense to to keep them in games and to win games. They don't get blown out enough for him to be on the hot seat for so many people, and they win too many games for him to justify being fired all the time. But I think he's not good. Yeah, I agree. Like I, I think I think you're 100 right. Uh, Birdie said, "Do you not think five and a half is too many points?" Bears D always shows up. Who would you want to play to get your offense right more than the Titans? Uh, agreed, except that the Titans' defensive issues are not, um, you know, being able to really stop the pass necessarily. It is, especially against this this quarterback, right? I think that even not getting to the quarterback, they will be able to confuse him with looks in the secondary and with their linebackers. And I, I really think, uh, <laughs> Damien jumping in, Bears need Kaepernick, damn it. Uh, it they need something. They need something. So I coach them. I, hey, what if what if they got a Kaepernick Harbaugh reunion? Oh, that'd be insane. That'd be so ridiculous. I'm telling you, I'm just a genius. I just you've been you've been thinking together. about this stuff, hadn't you? I've uh, been putting this stuff together, man. Uh, Tom Lowe said Bears uh, should play Nick Trubisky or Mitchell Foles. Like, <laughs> look, they just need something. They need something else. Uh, I do think that the Bears defense is really really good. I I think you're going to see a lot of AJ Brown. You're going to see a lot of Corey Davis. Like, I, I think this is a game where the Titans' passing offense will get right. Because I think the Bears are going to be so focused on stopping Derrick Henry. And and this seems like the kind of game where Ryan Tannehill will come back and, and actually put up some num- some some yards. I'm rolling Titans here because yeah, I like the I'm bounce back spot. Points. Um I just I, I don't trust the Bears I, right now. And Matt Nagy, Matt Nagy, I'm not betting on him. I'm just not picking him. This is actually one of my gambling picks this week. I I just I feel like betting against Nagy right now is a good bet. Yeah. Uh, Birdie said, Harbaugh to the Chargers after Michigan fires him. Great spot for him. And then uh, Birdie said, I, I think it's just a lot of points regarding the Titans. And yeah. it is. No, it is. It is. I struggled with this on a lot. I kind of went back and forth all day long on it. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to go Titans. Tom Lowe jumped in again. What are you guys picked on the college games tonight? Again, just to rehash, we don't have plays on them. I, I took uh, Buffalo at minus 9.5 when the line opened on Sunday. It is out to 14 and a half. There's no way I'm playing that. We're going to watch the games, figure out some data points on these teams, and then we might play some Mac next week. But it, I just don't think it's smart to, to bet on these teams right now. So, uh, and the only reason I took Buffalo was because I, it, it was before I even looked at anything other than returning production, and they have 
a massive edge in returning production. So, uh, before 10 and a half, just way too much. So, we're, we're watching them action this evening. Uh, Panthers at the Chiefs. Um, 10 and a half at home. Uh, this, this feels very, um, like one of those games where the Chiefs just kind of show up and, and they get their win and they, they go home, but they don't necessarily have to dominate. Like, that's, that's what it feels like to me. Like, I, I trust Carolina to be able to score some points. They're going to have, um, I just went blank. Uh, <laughs> who's, McCaffrey yeah, back? Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting McCaffrey back this week. Yep. So, with that, uh, you know, like, I, maybe that's a, a shot in the arm. Like, it, I, I think it's just too many points for me to go with the favorite here. I, I'm probably going to roll with the Panthers at plus 10.5 because I could easily see this ending up as a, you know, 38-28 kind of ball game because I think the Panthers are going to be able to score. This is a game of pick of mine, and I like the Panthers. I think the Panthers will score. I think the Panthers will keep this game close. And, uh, and yeah, I, I think that they are playing too well to be separated by 10 points from anybody. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Uh, this is not college football. Double-digit spreads um, this year have been covering – Far not just this year, the last uh, two or three years have been covering more and more and more as the good separate themselves from the bad. But but this is not Jacksonville. This is not the Jets. Okay, this is not a terrible putrid team. This is not the football team or the Giants here. This is a good team. Yes, yes, you're right. You are 100. percent They they are well coached and they got some good players, especially on offense. So I I like the Panthers here. I I just think it's too many points. Uh, just a lot of people loving, you know, the Chiefs. And I, I can understand it. And rightfully so. I mean, they're killing yeah. people. No, so. you got that right. Uh, Jowie said, uh, should I bet 50 euros on Trump? Um, I mean, at plus 525, that ain't terrible. I don't know that I would bet uh, that much, but it depends on your bankroll. Uh, I mean, I, it ain't out of the realm of possibility that Trump ends up winning this election. Like, it's, it, I don't think it's completely done yet. It looks like it is. Otherwise, they wouldn't have... <laughs> They wouldn't have Biden as such a significant favorite, but you know, like I, that's that is for you to decide. So I, uh, I, I had I had some state bets yesterday, and and I won three of them, and I'm still waiting on one more. So so we'll see what happens. But uh, but no, I I wasn't betting on the the general. Um, I take that back. Like months ago, I bet Trump at plus one eighty five, like forever ago. But. I mean, I put five bucks on it, so it, it, it ain't the end of the world if I lose it. But, uh, but yeah, either way, it's up to you. Terry said Panthers about to get that ass whooped this week. I mean, it's possible. Anything can happen. Uh, Birdie said, do you think that Christian McCaffrey gets cleared, uh, and is he playing, or if he is playing, does this line drop to eight or seven and a half? If that happens, I take Chiefs. Otherwise, it's a stay off. Yeah, if it's, if it's more than ten points for me, like I'm playing Panthers. If it gets yeah. to single digits, I'm just staying away. Uh, I mean, I'll admit, I've already bet it. So yeah, I think Christian McCaffrey is going to play. Yeah, I, I think so. Like, I I fully. But think I kind of so. think this line has that in 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 effect. I think they know he's going to play. He's worked out all week. Yeah, no, he. I think he's going to be just fine. Uh, Tom Lowe said these double digit spreads take them dogs, and that ain't always the case, my friend. Uh, no. it, it it is a much better number that, of that was the case cover. five years ago. That was the case four years ago. That was the case ten years ago. Definitely now. Yeah, the game is just different. Now you have uh, you have got too that many right. bad teams. Uh, Ravens and Colts is off the board. Um, uh, no, 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 it's, it's back not. on no, now. It's not. It's back. No, okay, it's, it's it's back now. It's uh, it's Ravens minus uh, two minus and a half. Two, two and a half. It's two and a half. It's, it was two and a half pretty much across the board earlier. I guess now you can find a bunch of twos. You can find one three, but no, it's 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 on. All right, so I don't I don't think that's enough points. I think this Ravens team is significantly better than the Colts. Like yes. I, it, the Colts, I, we just watched the Colts put a 40-burger up on, on Detroit, and everybody's freaking out about that. And we saw the Ravens get beat. And yeah. that's that's where this, I think, value goes. It Under a field goal, I am for sure taking Ravens. I just I, oh. I think this is not the same kind of defense that they saw with Pittsburgh last week. Uh, this Colts defense, while it is good. Yeah, they're very good. Very it, ain't, good. it ain't that level. Well, this offense doesn't scare anybody either. No. They don't have they don't have now, playmakers like the Chiefs uh, that the uh, that the Steelers do. Here's the other side of this: is Marlon Humphrey tested positive for COVID, so he's going to be out this week. Uh, I still 
think that even with the players that are gone, I still think this Ravens defense, uh, with their schemes and whatnot, are going to be able to slow down this Colts offense. And I agree. And all you got to do is confuse Phillip Rivers just a little bit, and he's going to throw your team the ball. Yep. So, it, so give me the Ravens all day long on this one. Yeah, this is a game of pick and mine. I'm definitely taking the Ravens. Yep, there you go. All right, uh, Steelers at the Cowboys. Cowboys a 14-point underdog at home. It looks like probably Garrett Gilbert is going to be the starting quarterback. Um, what a disaster. <laughs> There's I mean, no reason is, to talk about this game. This is just insane to me. We have, uh, we have hoarded ourselves out to ratings. I mean, yeah. Like th- this was this was already so they set this up as the afternoon game because it was supposed to be the prime game and they set it up before the season even started for this week. Uh, but I don't I mean I don't know what game is necessarily better. Like I like it, this There's is a kind lot of, of a, games that are better than this. this is the Vegas a, Charger game is going to be an awesome game. I'd rather talk about the football team and the Giants than this game. Those are at least going to be competitive. Yeah, I mean they're going to be competitive, but like. You have potentially the worst team in football playing potentially the best team in football, Gary. Who in the flying shit gives a damn? <laughs> okay, let, let's talk about this Cowboys team right quick. It, are, are, we at the, at, are we at They're the bad? Hold on, are we at the point of giving up on the season? Are well, they yes. just are they just completely yes. no? Yes, they're done. They're okay. done. I, uh, There's wanna, nothing you can trade for. There's no one you can go get to save this season. Hey, Birdie, so you just call it a wash and you move on. Birdie said, uh, hell, Miami and the cards is very interesting. Yeah, we're, we're getting to that next. Yeah. Um. I Yes, I agree with you. I am very curious if there is not a a world where Garrett Gilbert can get this offense rolling. Like I, I think that Dallas no, could end no, up being yeah, all right. That, I can answer that. That answer, no. He Garrett Gilbert cannot get this off and trolling, Gary. So that, there's just it, it, so there's no well, way. Well, damn sure not against the Steelers, okay? But I don't think he gets it rolling against the football team or the Giants. I'm going to take the Cowboys to cover here. Knock yourselves out. Hey, you you taking Steelers? Oh, well, if you're making me pick this shit game, I would. But well, yes, I don't want to pick this game. Why is this a big game? We have the best team versus the worst team. In what it's, world is that a big game? Uh, Alabama plays Kent State. Let's just talk about it for forty-five minutes. It, but, if, it, but if it's Alabama and LSU, and LSU is awful, like we're still going to talk about the game. Like, but that's not this. That's that, what this is. This is no, it's the not. Cowboys Gary. and the Steelers, and I know it's just the Gary. Cowboys in in illusion. But like, Gary, <laughs> Gary, you're you're making yourself look like a fool. Let's move on. All right, Joseph Gomez said, Gary, feeling a little dirty. Hey, Birdie, break out that wad of singles already. Uh, Birdie said, uh, laugh my ass off. My Lord, Gary, if you put money on this, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, and he said, and I'm not even religious. Look, I, I'm not putting money on the game. Um, but but we are we make picks for these previews. Gary it makes the big game list. Yeah. And how it. this made the big game list is beyond me. Well, because of Steelers and Cowboys. There's a reason. It doesn't matter. This is the NFL. This isn't college football. Let's go to Dolphins and Cardinals. That seemed a little better. Yeah, that more interesting. Dolphins have got all kind of running back issues. Miles Gaskin out. Jordan Matt, Matt Breida. They don't think he's playing. He got hurt. Looks like it's going to be Jordan Howard. They traded for uh, for Washington from uh, Kansas City, who is like fourth string or whatever. Um, Tom Lewis said, "What are you smoking, Gary? Pass it." Hey, I, I'm with you. I understand the Cowboys and Steelers going to be awful. I understand, but either way. Uh, Dolphins, Cardinals, though, Cardinals five point favorite. You know, at, you can't get five anywhere. Wait, man, I just wrote this down. It's four all the way across the board. There's one four and a half. Oh, that has switched. Okay, well, I mean, I, so there's a five at Bet Online. Uh, I see four at Heritage. There's not Bottom. a five on Bet Online. It's four and a half on Bet Online. I'm looking at it right now. You looking at Sportsbook Review? Yes. Hold on, let me refresh. You shouldn't have to refresh. Okay. It should be automatic. Wait, I hit refresh, now it's at four and a half at plus 100 odds. So, either way, so that line keeps going down. Um, and, it, you know, it's it's still 50-50 split, basically, for yeah. the ticket count. I mean, I, 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 I like the Cardinals here. I Like, I think that Dolphins win last week was kind of a mirage. They needed a punt return touchdown. They needed... Uh, and, and no, I don't think that the Cardinals' defense is nearly as good as the Rams' defense. But Tua is still, like, I mean, this is a, it's a second game. I don't think he's going to be very good right now. And 
I mean, we'll see. But I, <laughs> Birdie said, I think it's time to start backing this Cardinals team at bigger numbers. Uh, that Miami win was phony as a million-dollar bill. The public is so stupid. I, I'm kind of with him. Like, I really like the Cardinals here a lot. Like, at Dolphins traveling. Like, Dolphins at home is one thing. Dolphins traveling. Like, I am all over the Cardinals here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I, the, the, the Dolphins would need a miracle defensive uh, game like they've had the last two weeks. Now, they have had two, not two weeks, but two back-to-back games where their defense has completely carried the team. Um, I think but this can Arizona you ask them, offense is too yeah. too good to to do that. I was going to say, can you ask him to do that three straight weeks in a row, especially when you're going on the road like this? Yeah, this is different. This is different. So I, I'm with you. I like the Arizona. I like Arizona a lot. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm with you. All right, let's move to Sunday Night Football. This is the game everybody, I think, wants to talk about. Uh, Birdie said under might be uh, worth a look as well. And, I mean, it's 47 and a half. Like, I, I think Arizona could really put up some numbers. And if you do get those fluky, you know, interception returns, a punt return, kickoff, you know, you, you get fluky points there somewhere, and, and it could easily bust that 48. So, I, I'm i going to stay away from it. I mean, we'll we'll see. Like, 31-21, and that ends up busting it. So, um, Saints and Bucks. Bucks a four-and-a-half point favorite. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, about four-and-a-half. You can get a five out there. Uh, a couple of spots, and there's even a five and a half somewhere. So yeah, we'll we'll say four and a half for for the sake of this argument. Um, <laughs> Joseph said, "Hi hey, Gary, do you realize that the Dolphins is the number one defense in terms of points allowed? Take the Arizona team total under. Look again, I don't, I, I can't ask them to play ridiculously well every single week, especially when the offense can't stay on the field. Like, and I I think the Cardinals defense a little bit underrated. I like the Cardinals. Is what it is. Um." And then Damian said, "If Tua does win this week, people are definitely going to have to respect him." What? I don't. I don't think not. Not if he's not the reason that they win. He wasn't the reason they won last week. Am I crazy, Chris? Yeah, no. And and the Arizona's defense isn't anything to write home about. So just because he might look good against that defense doesn't doesn't mean much. Yeah, I I just he should look good against that defense because they're not really good. Yeah, is what it is. All right, so back back to Sunday night football, Saints and Bucks. Bucks minus four and a half. Uh, I I kind of like the Saints in this spot just because I think it's going to be a close game, either or. I I don't I haven't liked the Bucks a whole lot here lately for whatever reason, especially with that Monday night game. Uh, but that could have just been fluky. They could have been looking ahead, which I didn't think that Tom Brady did, but. But it's not Tom Brady. There's a whole team yeah, involved. Yeah, the whole in team. Playing. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you, but I'm just like. So, which way, tell me, you talk about this. Which way are you? I think, I think the Bucks. I think the Saints team has been disappointing week in and week out. That Bears game last week is one of the worst played games I've seen in a long time, and it took an overtime field goal to beat them. That's true. That this is Saints true. team is not good. They're not right. If you can shut down Alvin Kamara, you've shut down. Not slowed them down. You shut down their, their offense. They are a one-man show right now. So you're you're leaning bucks. Yes. I'm, I'm leaning bucks. I'm gonna go Saints because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people all over the Bucks here because the Saints have won three straight games by a field goal. Well, and it right been, now it's fifty one forty nine, so you're wrong on that. Well, I mean it's yeah, it's fifty fifty. But I, I just it, it it's just a it's a feeling. I don't know why. <laughs> like I, I can still I can get a a thirty one twenty seven game and still cover here. Like I, I'll I'll lean Saints. I don't love it, but this ain't going to be one of my official picks anyway. So I'll lean I'll lean Saints. That, Buck, that Bucks defense about to make Drew Brees look real old. Yeah, it, it is entirely possible. It is entirely possible. Uh, Birdie said Bucks for me. This is what they've worked for up to this point. This game. That's or, right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think the Saints are in for a very bad day. Um, Joseph said Saints outside the dome is a different team. And then Birdie said Breeze is going to have to throw balls down the field because the Bucks are going to score in this game. He uh, can't do it. He can't. He just can't do it. Uh, yeah, no, I 100% right. Uh, Saints now, this will, get will the be money. the first game with AB? Uh, Saints, yeah, th- this will be the first game. First game with AB. Uh, Saints will get the money Sunday. Public saw the Bucks struggle against the Giants. The public is so stupid. Yeah. Man, I didn't think about that. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. The, the Bucks look bad on Monday Night Football. Took a missed two point conversion to beat a shitty Giants team. No, you're you're wrong on where the public's gonna go. You but might be right I, about that. No, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is this is classic Tom all day long. Hmm. 
And it's good. And it's the same reason. Look, I can't believe Daniel Jones scored 20 whatever points he scored against them. But listen, th- that defense for the Bucks is real. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Th- they're they're real good. And Drew Brees, I mean, his his air yards are about where Kirk Cousins are. They're, it's around a yard or two. I mean, he is dumping balls off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything that you're saying makes complete and in, in perfect sense. Like it is all incredibly logical. And that is the way that I probably should go. For the sake of this, we'll go against each other. I'll go. I'll go. Saints plus four and a half, and then we'll figure. It out. I'll, I'll. I'll take the L. It is. All right. <laughs> it is right. what it is. Uh, hey, you might win. I mean, you never know with these. Like, you might the, win. The NFL's stupid. I mean, this is yes. the way it goes. So, uh, Patriots at the Jets on Monday Night Football. This will close out the previews, and then we'll do our official picks, and we'll get out of here. Um, so, I would have to lean Patriots because. There is no way that they just come out and look like complete crap again. Like, this is not a tanking team, and I think the the Jets Jets are. The Jets are just awful. Yes, this Jets team is really, really bad. And I understand that they played, you know, the Bills really close and and all that, but the Chiefs kind of, you know, took them behind the woodshed last week. And I I think that the Patriots are going to do the same thing. Like, Bill Belichick does not like losing. So if he gets a chance to win, uh, he is absolutely going to take it. And I think that they are a better football team than the Jets. Like, even though they've got their deficiencies and whatnot, I understand that. But I, you know, I, I, this feels Patriots to me. Like, and yeah. it feels Patriots big. Well, I don't know about big. I don't know if they're capable of beating anybody big, but I do think the same thing. I think that they should beat up on this Jets team pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Birdie said, "Jet spread and money line for me. Bank it. Hey, money line. Props to you for betting on the Jets, my friend. Hey, you were talking about you praying for me earlier. Uh, <laughs> if you put money down on the Jets, uh, that you got bigger issues than I do, my friend. You got bigger issues than me. I just, I can't I can't even pick in a in a friendly preview. I can't pick the Jets. Like that just it makes me feel ridiculous doing that. So we're we're both rolling pads here, huh?" Okay, 